The Pueblo Police Department is boosting mental health services for their force. It's an effort funded by a state grant to help provide more help for officers to cope with the trauma they see on the streets. Cardio News Channel 13's Natasha Lynn explains how the grant money will help those officers. Police officers experience traumatic events on a daily basis in their jobs. With ongoing staffing shortages and increased crime calls, it's becoming harder and harder to work in law enforcement. The grant is highlighting the importance and availability of access to mental health services and resources for those who serve and protect us. As of today, Pueblo Police Department has 47 open jobs. Meanwhile, calls for service are continuing to trend upwards. The Colorado Department of Local Affairs awarded the city of Pueblo with the grant. The grant is nearly $100,000. It'll cover the costs for city-provided mental health counseling. The grant will also reimburse officers who pay out of pocket for therapy outside of the department. Sergeant Frank Ortega with the Pueblo Police Department says they currently have a part-time psychologist available to the officers. And this grant will help further extend mental health peer support hours and resources. Back in the day, you know, you're supposed to be a tough police officer and just deal with it. And unfortunately, you know, we've seen not in our department personally, but you know, went nationwide where officers have committed suicide because of the things that they've seen and the pressures that they've felt being a police officer. Uh, like I say, in our department, we haven't had that. And I think I'd like to think that part of that is because of the support networks that we have. According to the Pueblo Police Department, summertime is the busiest time of year for the agency. And police leaders say that the grant is coming at a time that these services are even more necessary. Pueblo Police, they want to become a model for other departments on what to do and how to help officers be better equipped to deal with the on-the-job trauma. In studio, I'm Natasha Lynn for KRDO News Channel 13.